moment. It's no accident that I'm here at the Higher School of Economics. Um, I mean, my path to get coming here is quite a long and complicated story, but it all begins with a great teacher that I had, uh, Professor Dominic Levin. And he taught me about Russian history. He's a fam world famous historian. And he really inspired me to you know, find out more about Russia, its politics, and its, particularly its relationship with Europe. And there really is no better place to understand Russia's uh, relationship with Europe than St. Petersburg. Uh, so yeah, I mean, he, 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 it was that inspiration that he uh, instilled in me some 15 years ago uh, when I was one of his students that is my main reason for being here. And he actually came here not so long ago and gave a lecture uh, at the Higher School of Economics. I got a chance to meet him again and, and remind him that I'm here because of him. So yeah, a great teacher is why I came here. So you might ask why the Higher School of Economics? Um, really there was no choice in the matter as far as I was concerned. This is the best uh, university for the social sciences in Russia. Um, and it's the only place I really wanted to come to, but it was quite difficult to get a position here. It took me three years to get a position here, um, but uh, it was worth the effort for sure. So uh, one of the things I, um, at the beginning, it was quite a lot of challenges that you face, and this is really one that I think international students will recognise that when you first come to uh, Russia, and it's just not not particularly a, a higher school of economics thing, um, there's just a lot of adaptation you have to do. I mean, your, your Russian language might not be very good; mine certainly wasn't. Um, you uh, there's different ways of working here. There's a whole uh, history of. Uh, academic practices that are very different from those in Western Europe so uh, you have to get used to that but it only takes a few months and then you're kind of on the same page as, as everyone else here. So that's for the international students and then for the for the Russian students I, th I suppose they have a bit of difficulty adapting to my teaching methods because uh, one of the things I uh, try to encourage with all particularly with my Russian students is to uh, improvement in their academic writing. Uh, Something that I notice, and I don't know where it, I think it, I suspect it comes from school. A lot of Russian students, when they're starting an answer to a question in oral presentation or written work, they say, Pomoimu Minyenu, in my opinion, right? And this in my opinion thing is something that I try and drum out of all of my Russian students because everyone has opinions, right? But uh, the, the, the real test of academic writing is to advance an argument, an argument that's based on evidence, it's based on engagement with the best research that's out there, and it's not just based on your opinion on that given day of the week when the sun is shining or it's snowing or whatever. So I, that, that's one of the things I really work on with my Russian students, is really getting them to write in a kind of academic way, in a kind of rigorous, uh, r developing rigorous research papers of a very high quality. Uh, and I think I've had some success with that. I think, you know, it's, it's just, a, it's just a, a different way of, of kind of uh, writing that, uh, that I try to sort of encourage them. So one of the other uh, really good things about Higher School of Economics is, uh, well, there's two things. One is that it's got a very ambitious um, uh, program to internationalize uh, and I'm, one small part of that. Uh, there's an increasing number of international staff coming in uh, and almost all the courses are turning to English and that, I think that's really ambitious on uh, higher schools part and it requires students that have that sort of share that kind of ambition to really improve in their English language skills. And the second thing is the, the uniqueness of this particular programme, Political Science and World Politics. Um, there's, there's nothing like it in Russia. Uh, that kind of combination of comparative politics and international relations 
Um, I mean, it's much closer to what I'm used to from the UK, with those two uh, fields, those two branches of political science, comparative politics and international relations, are brought together under one in one programme. But it's quite unusual in, in Russia. So, I mean, I, I've, I'm a specialist in international relations, uh, and there's, there's two, you know, a few other um, professors like me. Um, the majority of the professors are specialists in comparative politics, but students basically get to uh, benefit of, the, of both that, those kind of branches of expertise. Um, this is a genuinely a IR, international relations and uh, comparative politics programme. There's nothing like that in, in Russia. Okay, so why study political science at all? Uh, that is a very good question. <laughs> I mean, some students kind of say to me, uh, I, I don't know if I want to be a politician. Um, and I say you don't have to want to be a politician to study political science. I mean, the study of politics is really the study of, well, in one way of describing it as the study of ways to try to address the evils in the world. I mean, politics is, is a way of kind of coming up with solutions to a whole range of societal problems or evils. Um, and then, and those, politics keeps changing because the nature of those societal problems keep changing. So studying political science in a way is just a way of studying a kind of constantly moving uh, societal challenges and responses to those challenges. And I think those uh, skills, those analytical skills, uh, are transferable. You, you, can, you don't have to go on to, to work in politics. Um, you go on to any analytical field and the study of political science you'll get here will benefit you in the future. So you should come and to study political science at the Higher School of Economics in St. Petersburg because political science is kruta.